Pakistan, the sixth most populous country of the world, with exceeding 185 million people. Pakistan is committed to achieving the targets set in Family Planning 2020 Summit. Pakistan pledged to increase CPR to 55%, universal access to family planning services by 2020, allocate appropriate budgets for the task, family planning to be the priority of the 100,000 lady health workers, engage men, private practitioners and religious leaders to scale up family planning all over Pakistan. The, the FP summit that took place in uh, London in 2012 was a major a game changer. It was organized and it was, you know, uh, the kind of an initiative by Melinda Gates to really bring back the attention to family planning, which the world has stopped paying in the past. So the family planning summit then led to the way of establishment of a very strong inbuilt monitoring mechanism for the commitments that the world together has made to reach out to 120 million additional women by 2020 who has unmet need for family planning. Uh, FP2020 is a mechanism who is monitoring each country's commitment to that promise. In Pakistan, uh, there has been a promise to increase the contraceptive prevalence rate from uh, 35 to 55 percent. The government of Sindh has been extremely attentive to these issues. They're working hard to make a plan uh, to succeed in that. There is a FP2020 task force. There is an oversight committee which is headed by the very high level political uh, you know uh, figures and by the bureaucrats and we are trying to see how we can achieve this target by 2020 and uh, with civil societies like family planning association of pakistan and others we are very hopeful that we would be able to complete uh, the task that has been assigned to us universal access to family planning is not a numbers game it will require a holistic approach for example in pakistan it is directly linked to the status of women. To achieve the goals of the uh, FP2020 summit in Pakistan, it is very important to deal with issues like early and child marriages. This 64% is uh, among the 122 million women and girls that we are trying to reach out through FP2020 summit targets. Women need to have control over uh, their bodies. Women need to uh, be able to make the decisions about their health, about their life. They need to have the freedom of choice. Only then we will be able to bring the CPR uh, rate up. Ranuma FPAP along with other civil society members is campaigning hard to get rid of uh, these harmful traditions like early and child marriage and one successful example is the repeal of Child Marriage Restraint Act of 1929 in Sindh Assembly. People ask me, is it practical to dream of a change in the status of women in a place like Pakistan where fundamental, religious fundamentalism reigns supreme? I believe so. I believe so because of the people like Mehtab Rashti. Mehtab Rashti alone stood against all the religious fundamentalism and made it possible for the Sindh Assembly to adopt a new law for child marriage. These are the kind of measures we need to take for uh, successful family planning programming in Pakistan. And uh, as long as we have people like Mehtab Rashti, I'm very hopeful we can do it. Mehtab Rashti, a celebrity, a parliamentarian, a visionary, a courageous person, a leader. Mehtab Rashti is also the president of Rahnama Family Planning Association of Pakistan. One of the contributing factors for high population growth rate is prevalence of early and child marriages. Looking at the girls because they were married away at the age of 9, at the age of 10, at the age of 12, which is the age for a child just to play. And overnight, this little girl who was playing with the dolls was married off to a, maybe an elderly person or maybe a boy of uh, her age but both immature, unable to handle their situation themselves and, you know, act practically. So what was happening that health-wise, the girl was the victim. She was giving birth to child and maybe dying in the process or even the mother and child both were dying. So, you know, all these things compelled uh, British that to come up with a law 
and they fixed the age 16 years and we repealed the this same law of 1929 in 2015 you know look at the gap there's a huge gap after so many years look at the increasing population early the girl marriages the population increases because her fertility uh, age is you know the huge she has so many years to go so it's just not one child that she is giving birth to she is giving birth to 10 and 12 as many children as she can bear the province of sindh and the assembly of sindh thought about it and raised age of marriage from 16 to 18 both for girl as well as for boy if you ask me i would say that it should have been 20 and the quran says that a girl cannot get married till she herself decides that she likes the person and she is ready to marry as the sindh assembly was gearing up to review the child marriage restraint act of 1929 mehtab living up to her reputation of bold and angry fighter of rights moved a resolution nullifying the cii's instructions there was a um, uh, one important resolution that i moved in assembly was uh against the recommendations of uh, council of islamic ideology very important and uh, uh, this is part of the constitution and this body is been made because if government is confused about anything which is that uh, there shouldn't be any confrontation between the the country's laws and the islamic laws and the sharia laws they seek the recommendations from the cii so it is very very important and uh, uh, they, they are sitting at the high pedestal and their recommendations are actually taken very seriously by the government So you know this thing was something which uh, provoked me and I brought a resolution in uh, Sindh assembly against all these three recommendations and ask and my reason was that these are very insensitive recommendations um, ignoring completely the rights of women ignoring completely what the situation is very insensitive so I moved it that uh, it should not be government should not listen to this and this uh, council of islamic ideology has uh, failed to protect the rights of women so it should be disbanded i i don't consider it is of any use so surprisingly i was not sure that how my assembly is going to react to all this and myself being a, a person from the opposition party is moving with a very sensitive resolution so but i was so proud of myself and my assembly that not only this resolution was uh, unanimously passed but again all the parties sitting in sindh assembly supported it and strongly supported it and each one of the parliamentary leaders of all the parties stood up read my resolution themselves and made speeches in support of this resolution mehtab resolution moved in sindh assembly As a result of this resolution, the Child Marriage Restraint Act of 1929 was repealed, and a new bill of CM 2013 was enacted that raised the age of marriage from 16 to 18 for girls and made the law punitive so it can be effectively implemented. A small step, but a giant leap in the lives of Sindhi women. This time. no reaction by council of islamic ideology mehta proved to the other decision makers that there is no need to get intimidated in the fight for rights she strongly believes that islam is all about empowering women and all those who study islam know that <laughs>